Hello guys, it's me Midnight and today I'm going to do a speculation on the upcoming series Elite 2.0. So to start off, this is the Elite 2.0 Commander. Personally, I'm not very happy about this one. It's really just a really large specter in my opinion. And there's really not a good place for it. So the first leak was definitely very disappointing. Not long afterwards, the Elite 2.0 Trio was leaked, and this one really made me stoked. It seems to have the 70 FPS par, but in the size of a pocket pistol. It's basically just another Triad reskin, and it just has the barrels conformed in a different way, which might actually make it more compact and a bit taller, but the tall or think doesn't really matter it probably will still fit in your pocket and maybe even better and be better for quick drawing so this one i'm definitely excited for all right here we have the nerf really 2.0 echo so if you look it is a top primed basically a retaliator slash delta trooper reskin but the magwell is a little different it's more like a flywheel nerf gun which in my opinion is a, a pro because i just like how to do it and it just seems to be faster for me and you know both hands can use it just as easily i feel like we're trying to make cross compatibility an extreme of this new series as it seems like they're all shaped in a way so that all the attachments will work on all of the nerf guns that are coming out so far we'll have to wait for a little longer but it seems like they're shaped so that it fits very well. Just like how the Delta Trooper originally was made specifically only for that one nerf gun. And it looks kind of weird on other ones. I actually like this look. I think it's very sci-fi-ish. Will do great for paint jobs. That's basically a Delta Trooper stock back there. There's a 12 round mag and a very well made in my opinion barrel. That seems like it would be very good for projects. Personally, if I ever get this, I would probably just use it as a little pistol. I wouldn't run it as a primary of all those attachments. But it's good to have the option. And I always like Nerf guns coming with attachments. Just so that you have more to do more things with. Next up, here is the Elite 2.0 Warden. I mean... It's really just a rough cut reskin, but I'm not too disappointed because the rough cut has a couple of reskins, so it's nice to have an option at least. You know, hopefully. Finally, the Elite 2.0 Volts and the Turbine are what I'm most excited for. Alright, so let's start off with the Volts. It's basically just a Nightfinder, and I actually like the look of it. And there's so much to say about the turbine. Alright, so onto the turbine. It does look like it would have the other attachments. That's the barrel. Really well on this one from the echo. But we don't actually know if this is semi-auto or full auto. People are pretty sure it's full auto. But if it's semi-auto, I have to say I would be a bit disappointed. And I would probably go in and try to make it full auto. I mean, I would be not that impressed, actually, if it wasn't full auto, because Hasbro's been getting into a habit of making flywheel nerf guns, like the semi-auto ones, unnecessarily large. And what happened to things like the Strife? That was really good. But they're starting to make them a little too big, in my opinion. Alright, so from what I've been saying, they're all following a similar shell factor to the Infinis here. With all these curves and the Delta Trooper-like stock and this button. Most flywheelers have that, so that doesn't truly count, but, you know, still. All these curves, like all this weird sci-fi-ish look that I actually really like. 
So I think that's what they're going for here, but they're probably going to make it so that all the attachments fit perfectly onto each other. Unlike and strike any leap because they were made in different years, so it was a bit harder to do that. So we'll have to wait and see. When there's more leaks, I will totally make a second follow-up video. And that is it. If you like this video, please consider to like and subscribe. Bye.